Welcome to Photo Plus. In this video, we're going to look at adding effects to your images. These include the typical blurring and sharpening, as well as some more stylistic effects. So the quickest and easiest way to access these effects is to go up to the filter gallery here. So we'll click on it. So we've been taken to the filter gallery, and as we can see from the categories here, we have an extensive list of filters and effects that we can apply. So for example, we could look in the blur category and choose depth of field. And this basically allows us to add a controlled blur to our image. So we can increase the blur radius and change from a radial to a linear gradient. We can then choose to set the path. So by modifying these two path options, we can set which area of our image should remain sharp, in this case the butterfly, and which area of the image to gradually blur, like so. We can then choose to hide the path so we can see the full image. Now ordinarily, if I were to go in and select another effect, it would replace the one I've already got. If you want to stack effects, you can do so very easily. You just need to uncheck Replace Selected down here. So we can then go in, for example, to Stylistic, and add a comic book effect. And this will be applied on top of the Depth of Field effect, which we can also choose to hide so we can see the effect without the blurring. So we'll choose to show that again. We can then click OK, and both effects will be applied to the image. However, what you'll notice is that unlike adding adjustments, this is a destructive behavior there's no way to get to the original image. The only thing we can do at this point is to undo the operation from the Edit menu. So if we do want to work non-destructively, what we can do is right-click the chosen layer and select Duplicate. And we can leave the name as Background Copy, that's fine. Then, as well as accessing effects from the Filter Gallery, we can also access them from the drop-down menu up here. So we can go in and select Depth of Field. Now you'll notice we actually have a more advanced Depth of Field option from accessing the Effects menu up here. So we'll use this to our advantage and change some of the settings here to achieve the desired effect. We'll adjust these threshold sliders here and once we've got the effect we want, we'll click OK. So this effect has just been applied, but it's been applied to the duplicate layer that we've just made. So I can simply choose to hide this layer, and I still have the original image without the blurring effect applied. Again, if we want to bring back that comic book look, we can select this layer again, and go back to Filter Gallery up here, and once again, in the stylistic category, we can choose Comic Book and click OK. So then, if I go ahead and hide this layer, we've still got our original image to refer back to. So that is how you can work with the filter gallery and the various effects non-destructively. Well, that's all for this video. Do experiment with both the filter gallery and the effects menu. There are a huge number of options available to achieve all sorts of creative effects. If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Community Plus forums. Thank you for watching.